Hey everybody, got the hippie theme park chick back at you today, but instead of at Hershey Park or Universal, or right here in the kitchen. Um, today I'm gonna go ahead and do my annual how to keep your gingerbread house together without using icing. As you all know, um, this stuff can be, um, it doesn't really hold anything together. Um, it's kind of cheap, it's just meant to kind of hold on your, uh, kind of to hold on to your candies, but not so much to keep a really heavy cookie together. So I went ahead and got a Hershey's gingerbread kit. Um, I'm here in Maryland, Hershey Park is our home park, so obviously we're gonna do uh, little hats off to them and uh, go ahead and use their gingerbread house this year. So what I'm gonna do is teach you a little trick here on how to keep your gingerbread house together, and it's really simple. I took about a half a cup of plain white sugar, just a half a cup of plain white sugar, and I put it in a non-stick cook pan, and I'm using, you know, a silicone spatula. I put it on high heat, kind of looks like caramel. I like to call it sugar glue. Um, this is how I put my house together. Now, I'm gonna tell you, it is hot. This is not a job for the littles. As a matter of fact, we have my kids upstairs hanging out watching something. Will I get this put together? Because they get very, very excited this time of the year, especially about putting together a gingerbread house. Um, obviously, they have one thing on their mind and that is decorating it. <laughs> Again, we have all of their favorite little things that they'll love so much. Um, little Hershey's Kisses and all those delicious little things for the kids. Um, they did ask this year if they could please eat it and for us to not just use it as a decoration. Um, again, because we did our hats off to Hershey. And um, this is a chocolate gingerbread house. So um, that's also something that interests my kids a lot. Um, I got this one at Walmart. Um, I know people are gonna ask, where did I get it? We got it at Walmart right here in town. And just so you know, um, my sugar, as it goes on and on, it gets darker and darker. It's basically burnt sugar. It's okay. It doesn't taste the best, of course, but what it does is it holds our gingerbread house together. And that's what this is all about here is holding our gingerbread house together. So I'm just gluing it together in pieces. Um, again, you do however it works for you. I've been doing this for years. Um, I used to work at a nursing home and we put gingerbread houses together every year. Um, I don't know. I'm sure Angela and Lauren are watching right now. I think one year we must have made about 20 of them. It, it, was, it was insane. Um, so I've learned what works and what doesn't work. I've also learned how hot this is. You don't want to burn yourself. So I just kind of go ahead and dip and go. Now, you can go ahead and take this side and dip it in, which is what I'm gonna do, because I feel like it's safer this way. But again, you have to do what works for you. This is just what works for me from experience. Um, I've burned myself on this before. It doesn't feel good. <laughs> so I dip and hold. And it's, it's cement, it's not gonna go anywhere. You've made sugar glue is what you've done. Um, and it comes together really, really fast too. So this time I'm gonna be dipping the top part because it's my last piece that has to go on there. And as you see, we have a functioning house with sugar glue. Let me hold that on there until it dries. So this will stay together for your whole season. And what I do is I understand that the color gets a little dark here. Um, we cover it up with actual icing, um, but it, it's amazing. It really works. Um, so go ahead and give it a try. As you'll see, it's one of the best tricks I have up my sleeve. Um, I used to be an activities director at a nursing home. It keeps them together for the entire season. So here we go. And we'll go ahead and take pictures when we're done um, so you can see it fully decorated. So thanks for tuning in and um, peace, love, and happiness. Happy holidays.